this is this is just garbage nobody's gonna want this why would anybody want this too much colors too much highlights too much messy everybody can see what you're doing hello limp primpers welcome back to another episode of lara Digi's limp primp is the last section of this channel limp primp art rate things and this section is all about my artwork i'm gonna be carrying you along on how i did this artwork piece roll your boat so if you've been watching this channel you know i've, I've said this multiple times um i started doing this artwork when i was in high school during a stage of my life where i had a uh, depression and i started putting these things down through my work so the title of this one is row your boat and if you've been watching this channel you know that in this section i usually transcribe my work from my graph book onto my canvas and i usually um you know finalize it with um with a metal mesh that i bought off of amazon once i transcribe that from my graph book onto the canvas then i finalize it make sure i'm not missing any points then i paint the artwork right using um a myriad of colors that i've that i bought from michael's so i make sure everything you know works together um and then i outline it with my like a marker like my black marker i outline that out and then i varnish it in this um video though i'm not varnishing it because i'm out of varnish i need to um go back to michael's and get me some varnish i actually have some um resin epoxy resin that i'm trying to um play with but um maybe in my next video i'll be able to use that um to varnish or to you know put a finishing touch to my next artwork piece so for this video um let me carry you along on how i transcribe sometimes this is the hardest part of um um of putting my paintings together because you know i'm going from a page a very tiny graph page and making it bigger and i'm sure in the future um i'll be able to even put my artwork on a much bigger piece a much bigger wall a much bigger you know um setting i hope that's my uh, that's my goal um but yeah transcribing sometimes can be can be confusing it can be tough you know because then i don't want to make any mistakes so i'm trying to make sure calculating making sure that everything is going where it's supposed to be so once i've done that and i think um watching other artists on watching other artists on instagram on youtube i i never thought that they outlined their work you know with pencils and things I honestly did not i didn't realize that they usually you know outline their work in the beginning you know even that drawing even drawing faces drawing um inanimate objects i was very surprised that they actually outlined their work that was that was a, a um something that was just you know like really when i first started painting my work i was like oh my goodness how am i gonna make my pencils disappear i don't want it to show in my artwork and then when i realized that other people were outlining their work with pencils and you know other things i was you know that kind of gave me um reassurance that you know just relax you 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 got this you know and i go into finalizing my work then i paint it out i think the paint the painting is actually the easiest for me i just find a quiet time and i just you know do what i have to do outlining is another nice um part of painting that i love it's like oh my goodness i can't wait to get to the finish line i can't wait to get to the finish you know to the finished product that i'm trying to rush like i just want to outline this work so um outlining is another nice part of painting my work and then when you even get to varnishing oh my goodness that's when the shine and the colors and everything all work and it just makes all your artwork just pop and then you can touch it and feel that smooth finish it makes you know it makes everything you know definitely worth the time right so of course when i'm painting i feel like there are different stages of painting as well so in the beginning when you're outlining it you are sometimes i'm like doubting myself like oh my goodness is this gonna come out right is this gonna come out looking good you know especially when i've done a smaller um a smaller artwork i did um eight by ten the first one so now i'm experimenting with a 20 by 24 
and um i'm like oh my goodness is it gonna look nice as the first one but then as you are painting you're painting after a while you just accept the fact that you have no choice but to wait till the end of the you know to the end of the finished product to actually gauge what it is you're doing so in the beginning of every every project you might have that feeling of oh my goodness i don't know if this is gonna come out right oh my goodness i don't know if this is gonna come out looking good like the first thing you did but just take your time just wait until the finished product then you can actually now see and judge um to figure out if what you've done is nice another phase of your work is oh my goodness who sent me why am i doing this nobody's going to like this nobody's going to want this to want to buy it this is rubbish this is garbage i feel like i feel like i get to that point so i, I hope you know artists out there i'm not hoping that they do have this stage but i'm sure there are stages where you're like this is this is just garbage nobody's gonna want this why would anybody want this too much colors too much highlights too much messy everybody can see what you're doing and then you think back on those ones that you know people are always looking at their brush strokes how are they doing this and then that kind of gives me a um gives me you know something to kind of just just relax and you know that spirit just keeps telling me lara just relax just relax just relax don't overthink don't overdo lara just relax and just you know just do what you gotta do just do what you're doing just relax don't overdo it just do what you're doing and just leave it to the hands of god right leave it to the hands of faith and have faith that what you're doing is worth it so that's um something that keeps coming to the back of my mind lara just relax don't overdo don't overthink just relax and then the final stage where you're like wow it actually looks nice to the point where you're saying wow it actually looks better than the first one i did isn't that a good way of feeling like oh my goodness it actually looks better than the first one i did so that's the stage i'm at now when i did um row your boat even though it's a children's nursery rhyme actually means everything to what's going on in in your life because you know when you're overthinking your life when you're overdoing it when you're overthinking you know you're 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 taking out the joy out of the life you're supposed to be living you're taking out the 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 satisfaction you're taking out the joy you're taking out the life you're supposed to be living because once you know it is life goes by so fast it's just a dream so live your life do what you want to do peacefully be at peace with others and you know the end you think is the end the end is just the beginning you know the original song life is but a dream you know you sleep and you dream and then you wake up and you're like wow you know the the dream is is gone in an instant so you want to live your life do what you have to do peacefully live at peace with others and you know the rest is the rest is going to work out life is going to work out all right Limp Primp is all about living your life in peace, living in peace, so that at the end of the day, when we do die, because we all will die, you know, we hope and pray that we are able to rest in peace. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching this episode. I'm, um, my name is Lara DJ. If you're watching for the first time, I'm a Nigerian American lifestyle vlogger who loves living a peaceful life, and I love talking about situations where my find ourselves in that need a peaceful ending let's continue to love our neighbors as ourselves and remember to rest in peace we all need to be living in peace stay blessed you guys you see me in my next one you see me in my next one uh -uh -uh. see me in my next one you see me in my next one bye so of course row your boat i um changed the lyrics to um how i'm feeling right now live 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 your life very peacefully seriously 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 the end is just the start live 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 your life very peacefully seriously 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 the end is just the start